female took them all right into here. This is a very important moment in the channel about to come up here. Yeah, look at that. Right? There's just covered. Ow, right there. Yeah. The very first sting on the Brave Wilderness channel actually <laughs> occurred in this video. Yep. Fire! What's going on, Coyote Pack? And welcome back to Base Camp, which is a show that we film at our favorite restaurant here in Columbus, Ohio, 101 BK. And we are fresh off of our most recent production trip, That's right. which was in South Africa. Which was very far away, our longest flight by far. Yeah. How many hours on the airplane? 17 hours. <laughs> I'm happy to be home at this point. <laughs> and we decided to film some more Base Camp episodes because so far you guys have been loving this new series. I think the verdict is out. The intro is going to stay, right? I'd say it's a hit. Yeah. It's definitely a hit. And all the great comments that have been coming in, we appreciate so much. Thank you guys for watching the series. And as we know, the first five videos I picked, you guys had no idea what those videos were going to be. Yep. But now we're leaving it up to the audience. And do you know what one we're watching today? Yeah, because you told me yesterday. Yeah, that's right. Do you know what one it is? I do. Yeah. yeah. But, like I said, I didn't pick it. It actually came in from Dave Casto. At Dave Casto 66 said, I think a great base camp episode would be a nest full of baby crocodiles, which he also guessed as being you know who's first episode. Mine. Nice one, Dave. All right. Yeah. That's a good one. So, today we're going to take a look at a nest full of baby crocodiles. You guys ready for this? I'm ready. Another yeah. oldie but a goodie. Oh yeah, here we go. Here we go. I'm Coyote Peterson. He's Mario Aldecoa. And common sense might tell you, that is Mario. never wander into Oh, I love this shot right here. But tonight, that was such a cool shot. We're looking to do just that. Yeah, okay, pause that for just a second right there. <laughs> what kind of an intro was that? It was so rigid. And what were you doing? You're just like, you guys didn't give me any direction at all. Well, well, oh yeah. <laughs> yes, did. I did. It's my first time on camera. <laughs> You know what I do remember though? We did that like 15 takes. There was like 15 takes of that intro. Really? We just couldn't get right. Yeah. And the lighting was a little off. Back too. in those days, we did a lot of takes. A lot of, of takes. everything. Yeah. yeah. But it was still a cool intro, and I love that shot of that crocodile disappearing up into the underbrush. You don't oftentimes see a crocodile run from the water and into the underbrush. Which I remember was, that, was yeah. Crazy. Yeah. And you know what else is really cool about this video? This is a good point to bring this up is Mario. We didn't know that Mari was going to be an official part of our field team for a long period of time at this point. Like, this yeah. was like our first shoot with you, and you stuck around, and you've been with us ever since. I stuck around, yeah. yeah. It, was a, it was a really good introduction, basically. I, I was acting as the person providing, like, hey, this is a cool adventure. Come mm -hmm. on out, film it. And then uh, it kind of just turned into, uh, well, do you want to join us on some other trips? Yeah. And I'm like, yeah. And uh, here I am. Yeah, we went to Arizona yeah. next. We're like, hey, you want to go to Arizona? You're like, all yeah. right. I was like, sure. Yeah, what most people may not realize is that before Mario was working with the Brave Wilderness team, you were actually working on crocodile conservation projects in South Florida. Yeah, this video is very dear to my heart. It's a program that I was working on for several years as a wildlife biologist, monitoring the crocodiles. And um, the opportunity to now travel and experience animals all around the world was something I couldn't pass up. So uh, it's a great opportunity to uh, transition from the conservation to a new platform of conservation. I say it worked out pretty yeah. good. Yeah. I right? think so. Not having you on the team, buddy. <laughs> All right, let's keep watching the video. There's the animation. That's the older logo right there for mm -hmm. you guys. We're home Man, we just started okay. straight with a map on this one. A There's Turkey Point. This location is home to one very... Oh, oh, wait, go back to that shot real quick. That shot, that aerial shot that looks like a drone shot. Oh. You guys know how I got that <laughs> shot? That's actually a B-roll shot of a photograph in your office that I was like, ooh, an aerial shot of the nuclear power plant. Yeah. yeah. Trust me, they do not let you fly drones around nuclear power plants, nope. and we didn't have a drone at that point anyways. Right. But, yeah. I, I always remember this video, the intro, being kind of like awkward, because you think a nature video, and the first thing is like, we're at a nuclear power plant. Yeah. Not yeah. really something you associate with wildlife generally. Correct, yeah, very unique. And actually, back to your point, like the security at that location is intense. And I had to actually get clearance for you guys. Remember mm -hmm. that? Yep. Mm -hmm. In order to come on the property. And definitely drones were not an option at that time. <laughs> no, yeah, so sure. you just zoom in on photographs to yeah. make it look like a drone shot. That works. There you go. All right, let's do this. This location is home to one very unique conservation effort that is helping revitalize the population poster. of American crocodiles in South Florida. 
Oh. So did you see that right there? That really quick B-roll shot? I remember, yeah, it is really quick. Yeah. I remember hanging off the front of the airboat being like, man, this is such a cool perspective. Mm -hmm. Today we would just use a drone. Right. Yeah. This was like the original <laughs> yeah. drone shot right here. Because yeah. it's so smooth. You're on that airboat. And I remember that. And it's just kind of scary hanging off the front of an airboat yeah. going that fast. It's kind of fun, too. You're like, whoa, this is awesome. Yeah, it feels like a video game or something. Yeah, so actually, in a way, this is like the original drone shot before mm -hmm. we ever thought mm -hmm. about having drone shots. I yep. wish it would have been longer, though. You notice, again, yeah. these early episodes, we were so fast to just get to the end. While I look at these B-roll shots, I'm like, what is this all it was? It's like, boom, 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 boom. <laughs> and then the B-roll shots are over, and you're into it. But I don't know. I like taking more time to set up the episodes these days. Right. Well, you edited these, so. I, I did. That's true. I, I, Working closely with wildlife biologists. There he is. Our mission is to Man, the shots are fast. To retrieve freshly hatched baby crocodiles so they can be tagged. Well, wait, go back to that shot of my hat. What is going on with my hat there? That is, st that is this hat. Right? Like, I keep bringing this up that I've been wearing the same hat for all of these years. Look at, this is like its original form right there. So, obviously your hat looks a little big here. So, what, yeah. which is which? Did your head get bigger or did the hat get smaller? The hat got smaller. I've got a tiny head. It's like the size of a peanut. I don't it's know, tiny because I don't have any hair. I think his head might have gotten a little... I don't know. If it's... my head grew, I feel like I'd have to have switched my hat. <laughs> all right, let's keep rolling. A little peanut head. <laughs> so they can be tagged and recorded before being released back into the environment. I love that shot right there. Shot. The cooling canals are meant to there is a big guy. water for the reactor. However, the property, which is like 4,000... There he is. Man, you can really tell how old this video is because, Mario, look at your beard. <laughs> nice and dark. What you know, happened? I think the gray hair started to come in once I started working with you guys. <laughs> it's probably all the stress and pressure. But it's like it's like the mark of the silver wolf. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Uh, I so got a couple in there. When my beard gets longer, I got a couple of wolf in. hairs. It's yeah. coming in. They creep you, in. You evolve from a coyote to a wolf. At some point, I'll just become wolf. I, and I, I don't yeah, think so. I don't think that works for you. Not, not. But yeah, uh, dark beard. That was, a, that was a while ago, huh? Yeah, yeah. look, you're not even wearing Brave Wilderness attire here. <laughs> That's, that's your real. that's your official your official shirt. And there's a yeah. nuclear power plant in the there background. There it is. Of this canal system turned out to be excellent nesting habitat. Are any of these Ooh, crocodiles? Stop right there. What we got there? Look at oh, that yeah. big boy. That's a huge crocodile. Yeah, that that's actually a twelve foot crocodile, and that's a male that would hang out in that area. That was his little territory. Mm -hmm. I remember we stumbled upon that, and uh, you were like, "Can we catch it?" And I was like, well, we might, but not today. I, I, I literally wanted yeah. to jump. We are, that, that's me filming that shot on the embankment. And it's really hard to be like, okay, this is only a couple feet of water. I think I can catch this crocodile. This was coming just a couple of days after we had caught that big alligator yeah. in Everglades. So I was like on like a crocodilian overload. He was, I wanted to try to catch a croc, so. Yeah, you, you're very confident about that. I'm like, no, this is a crocodile and it's 12 foot long, so way bigger than an alligator. The alligator was 10 yeah. feet and 300 pounds. That, that's bigger. Yeah. Yeah, I guess it's yeah. a little bit bigger. Yeah. Still a cool shot though. Crocodiles radioactive? No, no, they're not radioactive. Okay, so we're not gonna run into Godzilla. You know, it's funny is, uh, I'll keep letting it plain, but if we were to make this video today, we would have made a whole bit about the radioactive creatures that could have been mm -hmm. swimming around in there. Mm -hmm. But not back then. Back then, we were trying to get to the main part of the segment super fast. So hopefully, as we go up by the nest, we'll find a few that are still unearthing. This is exactly you can tell that I was nervous there too. I'm like, okay, we are getting off the airboat now in the darkness and going up into this nest of crocodiles, which, you know, everything that I had ever seen, it's crocodiles are defending their nests mm -hmm. viciously, yeah. violently, if they must. And here we are being like, hey, let's go in there and find some baby crocodiles. Fire ants are a big predator. So we're standing in fire ants? We're standing in fire ants. Look at my face, I'm like, what? Hold on, hold on. Right here. This is a very important moment in the channel about to come up here. Right? Right there. Yeah. The very first sting on the Brave Wilderness channel actually occurred in this video. Yep. Mm -hmm. I thought it was a bite, too. I knew, did not know that ants bit and stung at this point, and I thought fire ants were biting. I was actually getting stung. You're getting stung, yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, as we progress with the video, you're going to see that I actually wipe away the fire ants because I'm like, why is this guy letting right. Yeah, you didn't know me at that yeah. point. You're like, who is it? Why it's is like, he getting stung? What is he doing? He's just letting him bite him. And, and so I, I just kind of wipe them away. And uh, little did I know that I would witness you getting stung and bit by lots more 
Yeah, there, there was no intention to do any bite or sting episodes upon the filming of this mm -hmm. video. So me getting stung by fire ants here, had no idea at one point I would actually plunge my hands into fire ants, intentionally be stung over 300 times. Yeah. You never know. And that's called foreshadowing, kids. <laughs> right. All right. Yeah, yeah, just like, yeah, right right like, 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 no, man, they're really hurt. <laughs> just no wipe them off. No more, I'm gonna pause it right there. No more handling the fire ants. <laughs> like I said, less than two years later, I would be throwing my hands into a whole mound of fire ants. That's crazy. The thing I always do is I always want to make sure that there's nothing inside the nest. I think we filmed this all with flashlights too, didn't we? Mm -hmm. Or like we a little, a little sure light mounted on a camera. You can tell now we use much no, better it's lights. Just when flashlights. We're I think we learned from this video, like, we you better get some light panels yeah. and keep doing these night shoots. Here's Mario just digging around in the dirt. Right in the fire ants. Just digging around yeah. in the fire ants. On some of these islands, and the ponds fill up with fresh water, and the females will transport the babies to those ponds. Okay. That's where we're going to go check. That's our highest probability of getting Now, you guys that. definitely Sweet. were concerned because you kept asking, where's the female? Where's the female? Right. Yeah. We're going to get attacked. <laughs> and I was like, don't worry. The, the female croc is actually very shy, right. so, so we're lucky. There's that little guy. Yeah, yeah we were definitely getting eaten alive. Get back on the airboat and get away from these mosquitoes. All right, come on, let's go. Yeah. Oh, wait, there was that noise. What was yeah. that noise? Uh, it's going to come up again here. Yeah. Oh, there they are, the chirping. Yeah. Okay, pause it right there. So let's tell everybody out there about the chirping. Why are those baby crocodiles chirping, Mario? So it's called chirping or grunting, as we call it. Grunting. And um, basically, it's a distress call. It's like an alarm call to mm. say, hey, I might be being attacked, I need help. And it's actually supposed to attract the female, the mom, to mm. come and protect them. So we were in danger. Yes. And what? No. What do you mean yes? Yes and no. That's not what you told us. So the female American crocodiles are very shy. Mm -hmm. And just the presence of us on that, in that area kind of spooked her away, luckily. If that was an alligator, on the other hand, the alligators are very defensive. Mm -hmm. She would have come in and charged us. But yeah, that little grunting, ow, 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 Whoa. ow, ow. Pretty good. Yeah. I, I, I can do that. You got too. a lot of experience. You can do it too? I can, I can do that. I've never heard you Go do for it. it. I can do it. Yeah. I can't. I, okay, I'll try. I don't know how good. That's all right. Okay, Sounds like how about a, you? Can you do it? I'm not even gonna try. Not even gonna try? <laughs> no. You you do this sometimes with the hammer. Yeah, you do it. Oh, 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 oh. It works. You know, sometimes I have to attract the little babies up to me. Actually, if you grunt like that, it'll actually attract them towards you. And I've, so been, I've used that technique okay. to yeah. actually capture them. How long did it take you to learn how to do that? Uh, well, once I hatched out of the of the egg, I instinctively, you out of the egg? I instinctively <laughs> just was calling my mom that way. Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. It, it took a little bit of practice. He did come yeah. from an egg. He's <laughs> mammal reptilian, is what he is. Half <laughs> mammal, half reptile. Is that kind of like a rite of passage, like how well you can call? Um, not like necessarily. Down in, down in you, you work with a lot of other researchers and, and people who study yeah. crocodilians. Um, yeah, I guess, I guess we can say it's a rite of passage, and, yeah. and I have to say my grunting is on point. Okay, but let me just take a moment for all the kids out there watching. Do not try to replicate what Mario is doing. I don't want any of you going out into the Everglades, standing on the edge of a pond going, ew, 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 trying to call in crocodilians, because that's where you're going to run into some problems. Your backyard, that's probably yeah. fine. Don't go to the edge of a body of water and pretend to be an alligator. No, that, that's actually a really good point, because yeah. it might actually attract the animals. It does there. work. We've yeah. used it before. For protection. Especially when they're just born like this. Oh, look at these little babies. I was so excited. That's the first time I'd ever held a crocodile right there. Yeah. I don't even think I knew what to say. Baby crocodiles. They're super cute. Listen to but, a you know, they are super cute. That's not what I was thinking about while we were filming this. I was worried about where yeah. was mama at. Yeah. And you said we were fine, but apparently... No, you, you guys <laughs> kept <laughs> asking me that, and, and as, a, as we Get saw, out. we were not attacked. This is back at your research lab. Yep. Does that take you back, Mario? Uh, it sure thing. does, yeah. yeah. I've spent many hours in that lab tagging and, and uh, marking hatchlings. They're so cool. They look just like the little baby velociraptors from the first Jurassic Park. Yeah. Come on, little one. Come on. <laughs> I was present for the birth of every animal in this park. Is that how you felt? You feel like that's your Jurassic I did feel park like, like Papa Crocodile yeah. many times when I would uh, handle these little babies. It's going to be like a little pinch. Ooh. But the key is to do it fast and accurate. Kind of like the social security. Now, how many of these crocodiles, Mario, have yeah, so, you uh, personally uh, documented? 
I've probably marked uh, and documented maybe close to 2,000 so, wow. hatchling crocodiles. Now, yeah. We've got our That's a lot of crocs. It's a lot of crocs. Well, it's good. It just shows that the conservation efforts are working and that they're replenishing the, sure. the South Florida sure. waters. Oh, oh yeah, go back to that part. Hang on a second. Yeah, let's go back to that, that thing. So I remember when this was released, right? So back in the days, I would not see footage until it was released on YouTube, just like everyone. So mm -hmm. I, I would go on shoots or, or do a production with you guys, and then I'd have to wait to see it. And then uh, so I saw this video, and then I was like, man, he was calling the little avid chip a tracking meter. And a lot of my biologist friends were calling me out on that. And, um, you know, if a tracking meter were that small, that would be amazing, but we don't have technology for that right now. Right. So that's simply just an avid chip mm -hmm. that has a specific number, and you scan it. So it doesn't track anything, so that we're no. clear. It's just to identify. Yeah. Kind of like you might have in your pet, if your pet gets yeah. lost, and somebody finds it, and they take it to the vet, and they scan it, and it can tell you, oh, this is this pet's identity number. It can't actually help you track it. But I think in my mind, I was thinking, cool, we could track these little babies down. Uh, clearly, that was wrong. Yeah, but... that would be amazing uh, if we had that technology. Maybe one day we will. But the tracking meters are, are a lot bigger than that. See, I was just thinking yeah. into the future. Eventually, we'll have <laughs> yeah. that. I was just projecting hope into the future that we would have these little tiny tracking chips. Well, yeah. well, maybe we can invent them and uh, sell them on Brave Wilderness Channel. Actually, if you guys go to the Brave Wilderness <laughs> store right now, you can find it. the first rendition of the crocodile tracking chip. Now, you can use this in anything, your lunchbox, your book bag, <laughs> even put it in your little brother in case he wanders into the woods and oh, gets lost. Man. And actually, right now, if you buy one, you get a second one for only $19.95. First one's $99.95, <laughs> so it's quite the deal. None of that is true, but what you can buy are Brave Wilderness hats yeah. on the store right now. And actually, if you buy the tracking chip first, we'll throw in two hats for free. And a All selfie right. stick. Oh, those <laughs> selfie sticks have been flying off the shelves, guys. Sorry, we're running out of those. Let's keep watching the video. Hats, Sorry. hats, yeah. Video. Guys, when we're out there in the field, we're scanning them, and that's what shows us his number. Yep. So that's going to go at the base of the tail. That's a big needle. It is. Ooh, poor little guy. I always felt bad for him. But they're yeah. reptiles. They're super, like, resilient, resilient yeah. towards that. So, that. so cute. There's a crocodile ready to be released. Back into the water. It's amazing how small they start off and what they can Mario, grow into. Mm -hmm. Thank you now for this experience tonight. This oh, is this was such a tough shot right to get. You guys have no idea how many mosquitoes are flying. Yeah. You can actually see Look at them that. flying yeah. around. They say, get me in the water. Yeah, remember what Chance looked like? Yeah, Chance was that. very susceptible to mosquitoes. Look at this, guys. Oy. Look at that right there. Look, his, his eye was literally like just swelling yeah, up, like up. being closed. It was crazy. It almost looked like me after the bee beard went wrong. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Those are just mosquitoes. Yeah, honestly, I will say to this day, after all the shoots we've been on, still by far the worst mosquitoes we've ever encountered were yeah. on this shoot. Absolutely, yeah. Florida is horrible in mosquitoes, especially the Everglades, mm -hmm. and it makes field work really tough. I remember thinking, this is how I test uh, film crews, mm -hmm. right? When I have to work with film crews, bring them out to the to the uh, to Turkey Point and go out into the field. And I would see how they would respond to the mosquitoes. <laughs> and you guys passed. Even Did though we? Chance got bit up, he was a trooper. He actually yeah. continued filming. And uh, yeah, you guys passed. Well, you guys told, yeah. I, I don't really get affected by mosquito bites anyway, so. Well, I do. And I can tell you, it was pretty gnarly. Yeah. And I will say that for sure, I'm glad you, you think we passed. I remember thinking, like, let's go. <laughs> Can't get out of here fast enough. Yeah. Because yeah, they were and, crazy. And Chance both. Yeah. So anyway, here, we'll finish watching the video. I just thought that was a fun little screen grab from the behind the scenes video we shot. Heading back off into the wilds of Turkey Point. You guys ready? They say, get me in the water. We're ready to thrive. What a terrible outro. What, what kind of an outro was that? We're ready to thrive. So clunky. <laughs> I was like, come up with something because I'm we're getting eaten alive by mosquitoes. Though those shots were really cool. Yeah. Putting like, that was like the original GoPro. Like I think it was GoPro one. And we put in the water and like lit up the no, water. That was a drift camera. Was it a drift camera? Mm -hmm. Okay, maybe we'll 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 And I think you actually got those shots the next day with another batch. Yep. Baby oh, yeah, maybe that's what it was. Yeah. Check out these other animals. Yes, look at that. There's Don't Behind the Adventures, yeah. Juvenile yeah. Croc, Catch, American Idol. Those are old YouTube subscribes. Do you know what's crazy? And I didn't realize this. You know, this video now is over 4 million views. Mm -hmm. like, nice. Back, I remember back when we released this video, it got like 4,000 views, and we were like over the moon about how many people saw it. Yeah. 
since that time, 4 million views. And this That's is great. one of the first episodes that ever came out on the Brave Wilderness channel. You have to go way, way back in the list to get to it. But like you said at the beginning, it is an oldie but a goodie. And it was the first time that Mario was ever featured in an episode. And then you became a permanent member of the team, which yeah. is pretty cool. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I guess with that said, if you guys want to tell us in the comments section below what other videos you want to see from way back in the catalog, write in the comments section, and we have been reading them. And stay tuned, guys, because I know you want to see Bite and Sting episodes and us reviewing those. I promise you that the next one is going to be just that. So, if you guys are ready, is it time for an outro? I think it is. Okay, well, are you, are you ready? I'm ready, yeah. Are you ready? Let's go. This is going to be a good one. Okay. I'm Coyote Peterson. Be brave. Oh, oh man. Oh, I messed it right. up. I'm Coyote right. Peterson. You're Mario Aldecoa. Wait, one more time. One more time. Ready? Ready? I'm Coyote Peterson. And I'm Mark Vins. And I'm Mario Aldecoa. Be brave. Stay, Stay wild. wild. We'll see you on the next Base Camp Adventure. Here we go. We'll get back from production. We'll get into it. We'll get into it. Hey, Coyote Pack. Take a trip down memory lane and return to one of the first episodes we ever released. An expedition where the crew and I entered a nest full of baby crocodiles. And don't forget, subscribe so you can join me and the crew on our next big adventure.